Hey, welcome to today's video. I'm Richard Chapo. I'm an internet lawyer in San Diego, California. Uh, today we're taking a look at CCPA, the California Consumer Privacy Act, and the issue of whether selling personal data as part of the sale of a business is prohibited. Uh, it may sound like an odd question, but historically, um, and that has been an issue with privacy law. Uh, so, uh, perhaps the most famous case in this regard is True.com. True.com was a dating site, and um, its parent company had some issues and had to seek bankruptcy protection. And when it did, uh, the site said it owned went with it into bankruptcy. And True.com had a large dating profile database. So another dating site, Plenty of Fish, saw an opportunity. And they came in and offered $700,000 for the database. Now, for dating sites, you want as many profiles as possible. Uh, because you don't want somebody signing up for your dating site, then doing a search for uh, a potential person to date in their area and finding nobody. So the more profiles you can have, the better. And so Plenty of Fish saw an opportunity, and they made the offer uh, to purchase the database. The only problem was a number of states started objecting. And the reason they objected was a quirk in the True.com uh, privacy policy language. And it included a statement, which you will probably recognize, uh, it said, we will not share, sell, or rent your personal information to third parties, something along those lines. And uh, that is a problem. Why? Well, when you're selling personal data or when you're selling a business to a third party, aren't you selling the personal data of your customers? I mean, you have your customer list, you have your mailing list, uh, you know, your email newsletter list. You know, they're all different, different types of personal data you might have there. And you're passing that along to a third party. So isn't that considered you know the sell sale or at least certainly the sharing of personal information with the third party and the court said yes and in the case of true.com uh the court invalidated the sale and so they squashed the uh seven hundred thousand dollar sale and i think eventually this the domain true.com sold for you know minuscule amount compared to what they would have had um but that was a lesson for a lot of people in the privacy law arena uh, as to how uh, privacy law can actually play out. Now, what about the CCPA? So the California Consumer Privacy Act represents an entirely new approach to privacy law in the United States. Uh, up to date, privacy law in the commercial medium has been eh, pretty much a joke. Uh, there really hasn't been that many restrictions uh, on uh, the collection and use of personal information of consumers, unless we're talking about you know, very specific areas such as health records, financial records, or if you're collecting data from kids under 13. Um, so there are some specific laws for those particular subject matter, but not, we don't have a general privacy law in the United States, we just don't. Uh, and so the question then is, well, with the CCPA, uh, the legislature decided to grant consumers a lot of new rights because, of course, we have some of the issues that have come up with Facebook and Google and how they're collecting data, Cambridge Analytica, um, you know, these situations. And when we have a scandal, there's nothing more that politicians like to do than rush in and start passing laws. And that's what they did here. So the CCPA grants consumers a lot of rights and also places restrictions on businesses in relation to how you can use data. And so the question is, OK, well, does the CCPA uh, essentially block um, the sale of personal data if you sell your business to somebody else? And the answer is it does not. So it's a, a very good outcome. And we find this in uh, California Civil Code Section 1798.140, subsection O, subsection 2, subsection D. Don't you just love that? Uh, and it basically says, and you can see it right there, two, for purpose of this title, a business does not sell personal information when the business transfers to a third party the personal information of a consumer as an asset that is part of a merger, acquisition, bankruptcy, or other transaction in which a third party assumes control of all or part of the business. Pretty straightforward. You can sell your website, you can sell your app, uh, and include your email list and your customer list under California law, under the CCPA, you're not gonna run into any problems. So that is uh, a nice part of the CCPA uh, because most of the rest of the CCPA is not as clear, <laughs> to be quite honest. Uh, so, But nonetheless, there we have our answer. So can you sell personal data as part of the sale of a business under the CCPA? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Now, the only caveat to this is make sure that your privacy policy does not include a statement that contradic contradicts this. Go review it now. Go look at it and see if it has that ludicrous statement in there. We will not sell, share, or rent your personal information.
because if it does, you have a problem uh, and you need to address that and contact your attorney and figure out how to go about trying to resolve that so you don't scupper the future sale of your business. If a intoxicated Bill Gates shows up in your office one day and wants to pay $1 billion for your site, you don't want that to fall apart because you have this odd statement in your privacy policy. Uh, so anyways, that's it for today's video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, consider giving me a thumb up. If not, well, I guess the thumbs down is there as well. Uh, if you're interested in the CCPA and learning more, uh, feel free to subscribe to this channel. We're going to have quite a few videos on the CCPA, and hopefully they'll contain information that will provide answers to the questions you may have. So thanks for watching. Have yourself a good one.